Hello and welcome to another episode of Air Gun Reviews and Hunting Channel. The gun I'm going to feature today is made in the Philippines and I have a soft spot for this particular gun because this particular gun went up against the more high-end guns such as the Thomas, Steer, Raw, Daystate, FX, and totally made in the Philippines. This is my bench rest gun that I use for the 25 meter, 25 meter bench rest competition that we have at our club once a month. And I look forward to being able to continue again this year with this particular gun. The action itself, made by my friend, Tuper. And I have a video on my uh, channel about uh, Filipinos making air guns, and you get to see his work in action when he's making parts for different air guns. He is quite the air gun maker. I consider him one of the best in the Philippines, if not the best, in my opinion. He's also my friend. He's also a club member of Kara Cebu Air Rifle Association. You can look them up on Facebook. But anyways, he made this gun for me. He also made the stock. The stock is mahogany, Philippine mahogany. Side lever. Adjustable hammer spring knob back here. It pretty much, if you look at it real close, it mimics a a raw BM500 and he made this barrel is a Lothar Walter polygon smooth polygonal slow twist is what I meant to say Lothar Walter polygonal slow, slow twist barrel this brass piece right here moves forward and backwards. That is the barrel harmonics balancer. Optics is a TAC Victor Minotaur 624 by 60. Tank pressure, regulated pressure. Tank came from China. Homemade side wheel that I made. Of course, I've got the, I put the Philippine, Philippine uh, flag right here. Just very proud to uh, be able to get this gun back to the US and have this particular gun in my collection of air guns. The gun likes 13.43 grain pellets. It is a 177, I failed to mention that. It is a very accurate gun that competes with the more expensive guns like I said earlier this is the best that I did in an event that we had last year that shot cost me a perfect score of 250 
I hope to get a 250 score this year with this particular gun. This is what I have hanging up on this back wall that you see when I introduce my channel. That's how well this gun shoots. It's just, I'm not the best shot. So I'm working on improving my shots, you know, my shooting. Put a powder burner in my hand and a human silhouette target, no problem. Train in the military. Human silhouette target, it's a lot easier to shoot than a very small dot at 25 meters. Precision shooting. That's what I love about these air guns. There you have it, folks. This is my bench rest gun that I will be using again this year. Now, these guns, I, I do want to say this much. These guns that are made in the Philippines, they would gladly line up. If I was to bring over uh, FX, let's say, or a Day State, or a Thomas gun, every one of those shooters would want to shoot against me for bragging rights. Now, a lot of them can't afford a Thomas, Day Stay, Raw. Not all, but some can't afford them, but they choose to use a Philippine made gun. And I don't blame them. You know, they just want the bragging rights to say, hey, I lined up against a uh, shooter. They had a, a raw or a day state, and they beat them. Over in the Philippines, three cars of 250, total of 750 is not uncommon in the Philippines. Filipinos, in my opinion, can shoot. And they're doing it with these Philippine-made guns, by the way. So I have complete faith in uh, what they made in the Philippines. So I have to give them thumbs up for doing a good job in making these Filipino guns. It is too bad that they can't export them out of their country because I feel that they Tuper would have Tuper would have so many orders for Philippine made guns. That's my review. Shoot straight. May your pellet hit your target. And we'll see you on the next video of Air Gun Reviews and Hunting Channel. See ya.